Three fun facts. One, Azalea Banks is a gaslighter. Two, Cardi B won't last past her 15 minutes if she don't get her mental state in order. Three, I got on the black v-neck, so you know what that means. Y'all already know what time it is, I got the black v-neck on. Cardi B has locked up her Twitter account, she has deleted or deactivated her Instagram account, and she has practically disappeared from social media. The very thing that built her where she is at, she has left. Gone. Splat. Spickety splat. We don't know where Cardi B is at, girl. Get Cardi San Diego on the job. What happened? Let's get to the conversation, girl. Y'all already know what time it is. I got the black V-neck on, so that means you need to grab your headphones. I am about to go in. I don't even know the title of this video. I'm supposed to be on the road, heading to Memphis to see my mother, but I got to raise my two children, Cardi B and Azalea Banks, because y'all don't seem to get it. And you know what? I'm gonna discipline one more than the other because one has way more to lose than the other. That'll be up to you to decide which one of those I'm talking about. But let's start and catch y'all up to speed. It's on kingareese.com, check it out. The whole timeline of everything that has happened about Cardi B and Azalea Banks is on kingareese.com. Check out the article, it's in the comment section. So Azalea Banks did an interview with The Breakfast Club, DJ Envy, and Charlamagne. She sat down for 57 minutes and towards the middle, DJ Envy asked a question about Cardi B and what is her problem with her. Isaiah Banks did not bring up Cardi B, DJ Envy did. Charlamagne said he wasn't even going to bring it up. She basically just implied that Cardi B is a caricature of black women and she has been able to benefit from that because she is not a black woman. Which is funny because me and my friends had a conversation about that earlier this week and it got really, really heated. And I think we might need to sit down and do a panel discussion about this shit again. Come on, kitchen table talk. And of course, Cardi B got on social media and responded. Cardi B got on Instagram, she had a message for her. She said, look, you saying that I'm illiterate. I'm just really a girl who's trying to make it. I'm just like, people chose me, I'm this and that. Like, just because you're using big words doesn't mean you're smart. And for a black woman to be demonizing and going off on black women all the time, how are you gonna call yourself an advocate? Which are some major points because um, homegirl, Miss um, Isaiah, girl, you have said some stuff about several black women. You have said, you know, some stuff, but it's how you say that I'm more concerned about you just talking about them because, I mean, you're in that community, of course you're gonna talk about them and it's like pointing out black on black crime. Also, Cardi B said she has always identified as a Hispanic woman, that's just her. She said her father is Hispanic and her mother is um, from the Caribbean or something, I, I don't know if I'm missing it up. But she just said, look, I'm Cardi B, people gravitate towards me, you need to figure out why folks ain't checking for you. Child, when I tell you, Azalea Banks had all the time in the world, girl, she dragged her ass in a long shit, a long ass post that has been deleted off of Instagram, and she basically just took the shit out of Cardi B. She said, girl, it took you 24 hours to say all that shit. It took you 24 hours for this piss poor ass response, and you really didn't even learn anything. You joked about me, you know, bleaching my skin, which further proves the point that you are a bird. Girl, she dragged. If you don't need to read what happened, you need to go to kingandreese.com and check it out. But I want to just say this, Cardi B, you have everything to lose. Azalea Banks doesn't have shit to lose. The fact that she's only been on The Breakfast Club one time should tell you everything about her. Now, personally, I don't necessarily want to put Azalea Banks in the hater box. I think she's giving good critiques. I think that Cardi B can pay attention to this, but it's hard to play someone who is in this community. You doing this, you in the rap community, and then you are also critique. Like when people who play sports, they, when after they retire, they go and be on ESPN and they you know, talk about it. People teach the field after they leave the field. It's very rare for somebody to be critiquing that shit and still in it, which is why this shit has not worked too much and I haven't liked it when Tamar does it. Like, girl, stay in your lane. But I think that some of the things that um, Isaiah Banks says makes a sense because she is a black woman and she's speaking from her perspective and how she's treated. Now, girl, yes, Isaiah Banks has said some trash shit. Even her saying something about cupcakes and rapper need to get her breasts and stuff done was garbage as hell. Azalea Banks does not seem to give a damn. Which is why I'm more concerned with Cardi B. Cardi B, my problem with you is you are so quick to respond to the negativity. You had the number one single, the number one album, the number one every goddamn thing, and you worried about someone who doesn't even have a half a million followers on Twitter, and you deactivated your shit. You are going about tacking Azalea Banks 
the wrong way. And Azalea Banks, at this point, she is Thanos. Girl, you are throwing shit at her, and she's literally turning that shit into butterflies and pixie dust. That shit that you're doing to Azalea Banks don't work. It does not. Azalea Banks feeds off of that shit. She is a gas lighter. She has not shit to lose. Yes, she is talented. I'm not gonna take that away from her. Azalea Banks has nothing to lose, which is why she's always quick to say so many things because nobody's gonna hold her accountable because it's just like, girl, I've said enough. I have a dedicated uh, fan base who's gonna support me regardless and they're gonna still check my shit out. So, girl, I don't care. Now, Cardi B, you have said some questionable shit about trans women. You said some questionable shit. You know, you gotta point it out for always, you know, going in on black women, especially dark skinned women. There was a whole bunch of stuff, girl, but I feel like we all are learning and growing. The thing with you is, Cardi B, I really started to put a magnifying glass on how quick you are to respond to folks. And I'm going to take it back. And me and my friend had this conversation earlier. You responded to people making jokes about your teeth. You put that in your song. You also responded to people talking about your 15 minutes of fame being gone. Girl, you responded to that. You just need to learn how to just let that shit go, girl. You need to go find Elsa, get on the frozen slide, and slide your ass on out of here because Cardi B, you are literally that person that looks up your name on Twitter. You're literally that person in the shade room responding to people who are critiquing you. You are literally that person that's always worried about something that somebody's saying about you. And you're only worried about the 5% of the population that don't see it for your ass versus the other 95%. You have done some amazing shit in the last goddamn six months. You have done plenty of stuff. And the fact that you spent so much time worried about what Azalea Banks Girl, where is your head at? Which I have always told people. Part of these problems is that she's not talented. It's the fact that she can't figure out if she is talented. She is questioning the people who are questioning her because she honestly probably believes the shit that they are saying about her. Do you have some type of insecurities or something's going on? Yes, people are going to attack you, but let me tell you something, Cardi B. Being in this game that you are in, people are going to talk about you regardless. They're going to critique your work. They're going to do it. Take it from me. It does not matter what you do, what shirt, what fucking pants put you put on, anything. They're going to talk about it. Do you need to learn from that. I'm clapping my hands because I want you to know how severe the conversation is. They're going to critique every goddamn thing you do, which is why you need to learn how to deal with it. Maybe you need to take a back seat like Beyonce and drop shit and sit your ass down and only perform. You have built your platform on social media, but now you have to deal with the negativity that comes with it. Cardi B, you don't have to respond to Azalea Banks. Every time you throw something in her ass, she literally turns that shit into sand and she lays her ass down and has a damn dream next to the beach with this shit. She is not bothered. She loves the conversation and she keeps putting you in your place because she had to delete your whole shit. She had you delete the very thing that brought you to the people that love you. You are a dumb ass fool for allowing that shit to happen. And girl, I done got upset and I'm getting stressed out and I'm probably gonna grow some more grades because I want you to realize that you are talented. All of us make mistakes when it comes to spelling shit. Look, I do it too. But she knows your weakness and she has seen it. Girl, she is like Voldemort. She sees your weakness. <laughs> You have tried to destroy the Hulk and girl, she has popped up and she's saying, girl, you ain't gonna be able to destroy me because I see what your true weakness is. And she's showing it to you. And now that she knows that that's going to get into you, now that she knows that's a chink in your armor, she's gonna continue to use that. You have literally suspended your Instagram account after clapping back. You should not have said shit. This is the battle that you don't need to fight. You're not really analyzing the battle. You're too busy looking at the soldiers and stuff versus trying to get rid of the whole situation. Now, Isaiah Banks, your ass is get on my goddamn nerves. I mean, girl, at this point, you need to find a damn website and just start critiquing rap, female rap game, the male rap game. You need to do that because it seems like that's the only time we talk about you because we're not talking about your music. Even, it took you so long to even get to the point that you even talking about your music and the only thing that your ass played was Anna Wintour. And girl, honestly, I already heard about that song several times I've yet to play it. Matter of fact, I don't think I stayed long enough to even hear that shit. But that's what you need to be worried about. But you know what? 
but I see you for who you are. I think you're using this moment. I think you're creating this type of situation, continuing on and promoting your shit at the same time. But you know what? You playing the game a different type of way. But I do like the fact that you said, home girl, you ain't going to win in this conversation with this. Like, you're not going to use that reverse psychology bullshit on me saying that you know what? This is this is who you are and you ain't changing. No. But Zaya, you did have a point in telling her that she needs to own that she has this platform and she needs to use it. But you need to take that same goddamn shit and make sure you doing it too because Azalea, the only time we really talk about you on this type of scale is when you're going off on another quote unquote black woman or whatever, girl. You gonna have to do some more work. I love, I feel like you are very educated, you are intellectual, and I can feel like I can learn a lot from your ass. But Azalea Banks, you need to begin to the point that you are speaking at panels or speaking at some folk and educating black folks and, and, and uplifting black women in smaller spaces. I feel like you can do that. But Azalea, you're so interested in feeding off of negativity that your ass just keeps getting bigger and bigger and bigger, but we still can't see you. I think that's your overall issue. Like you keep feeding off of this energy of this negative ass energy, girl. And I'm trying to find Oprah so she can bring me the light. Girl, bye. But you're feeding off this negative energy and you keep thinking that you're getting bigger and bigger, but we don't see your ass, girl. I don't see you anywhere, Isaiah Banks. Yes, you might be comfortable where you are, but don't you want to grow further? But you know what? This is my thing back to Cardi B. You seen this girl for who she is. She just does not care about the things she's saying. She's going to continue to keep saying it. And you have got to say, you know what? I don't give a damn. I don't give a damn what that girl is saying. But you know what? I think truly you are bothered by it because you believe some of that shit she's saying. So what you should be doing is either working on it or get some therapy. Now, honestly, I've been saying this for a while. I have continued on this narrative. I have kept saying it and I kept beating it into y'all. I think that Cardi B cannot deal with the pressure of being a celebrity. We have created a monster and we don't even realize it because we're too busy bopping and dancing to it that we don't understand that the stress that this person is going through. This woman is stressed out and she should not be going through this during her pregnancy. This woman is pregnant with a child. She's carrying around another life force inside of her and she is responding to this. Cardi B, I don't want you to have a miscarriage. I don't want you to have a complicated pregnancy. I want you to relax, put your feet up and enjoy it. Girl, whoever is around you, your peoples, they must not be looking out for you because, girl, I would be taking your shit until you said, girl, ignore that shit. My friends already know, don't come to me about what somebody has said about me unless it's really, really necessary, okay? They don't bring that. I don't care about it. I have a lot of other things going on. And you need to get some folks around you that's going to surround you with some positivity instead of you worried about what Azalea Banks is saying. Because Azalea Banks ain't pushing no goddamn weight. She might be pushing a pen, but she ain't pushing no goddamn weight. And she knows that. That's why her ass was selling goddamn soap. Now, Azalea Banks, I ain't gonna, it ain't too much I can tell you because you really don't care and you just that's just who you are I man you're gonna do that anyway but cardi b if you want to stay in this game if you want to continue to have a good mental space you're gonna have to learn how to not respond to these people who are coming at you because if i want to give anybody as a perfect example girl they literally went off and dragged the shit out of jesus they didn't give a damn what the hell he was doing i don't give a damn about you rubbing prostitute feet i don't give a damn about you healing the blind and all that type of shit we don't like your ass so they talk about him Consider all the good he was doing, they damn sure gonna talk about your ass. Let me know what y'all think about it, girl. I, I I got to get on the road. I got to go see my mama. I always love my mama. That's all I got to say, girl. Tell me what y'all think. I'll talk to y'all later on tonight. Bye. She by Sheree. You don't got to do it. You ain't got a job. You ain't got a job. You, you ain't got a job.